Oh my god, I can't remember the algorithm. This is why I quit cubing. Nperms don't have super fast algorithms and they are tied for the rarest PLL. Personally, algorithms like these that are often taught for Nperms are quite fast but require a cube rotation first, and since you won't be seeing Nperms that much, it's very easy to make mistakes on these algorithms that you don't do very often. The Nperms I use may not be quite as fast, but they're almost as fast and they're very consistent to execute. So first for this Nperm where all the blocks are on the right side, I'll show the same algorithm done two different ways for two different levels of difficulty. Both will be the same speed, but the harder version will start with both thumbs on front, which means you often don't have to regrip before you start, which is a slight optimization. The simpler way to do this algorithm with the regrip begins like this, and you do R, U, R prime, U like that. And then from here, it's just a J perm. Make sure you do this move here. At the end here, do U2 with your right hand, and then R, U prime, R prime. And faster would be done like this. The more advanced way of doing it gets both thumbs on the front to start, which avoids regrip. And there's a few ways that you can do the first few U's here that require a different finger trick, but the way I prefer to do it is like this. R, U, R prime, U with middle finger here. R, U here, R prime, F prime. And then the rest of it is the same as normal. And that way faster would be like this. For this end perm, all of the blocks here are on the left. And again, there's an easier and a harder version. They use the same algorithm and the easier one begins with your right hand up here like this. So all of the finger tricks here are very straightforward. Thumb. Thumb here. And faster would look like this. If you want to do this algorithm without regrips, you have to start by doing the U in a different way. I personally choose this way, so it would be like this. And now because your right hand's positioned this way, the F prime move, I personally don't like doing it with my thumb here anymore. I prefer to do it like this. And faster would look like this. So remember that no matter how you do these algorithms, the easier or harder version of the Nperms I showed will take the same amount of time except for that regrip in the beginning. So don't bother learning the harder version unless you're quite serious about your finger tricks. And then if you're going to be using these Nperms on big cubes, you should probably use the simpler one that I taught because big cube finger tricks are harder to do. So one example would be like this. And remember that RUF algorithms are the best on big cubes because it's hard to do D moves or L moves. So if you learn these Nperms and you enjoy big cubes, then that's all the Nperms you have to know. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys next time.